So this is Kion from ID Tech X and we are the ID Tech X show in Berlin 2017 and I'm here with Simon from Nano Dimension. Uh, Simon, you have some kind of interesting printing technology. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. So firstly, welcome, uh, welcome to our booth. Um, what we're focused on is multi-material uh, printing for the electronics industry with a focus currently on PCBs. So printing a multi-layer PCB using both conductive and dielectric inks. So it's two functional inks which are ultimately creating this uh, electrical circuit. Uh, as you can see, you can then use that to assemble your PCB the way you normally would. Here's an example printed by one of our development partners at, at Fitech where you have a module of a traditional PCB. Uh, I can certainly have a, have a lift here. And you'll see a, a traditional PCB mounted onto a 3D printed PCB, which essentially then allows you to perhaps have part of your state. This is a, a standard product. And for customer adaptations, you may want to trial different ways that you could use that sort of base technology. This is a and modular approach where you can have a standard platform and add different new PCBs. Exactly, that exactly. So that's one, one, one typical sort of application that one might consider with this, uh, this approach, where, where you can you know, really rapidly work through your development process um, and do in a matter of days what might otherwise take weeks. Can you tell us more about the printing process, the equipment you have, sure. and how, how does it work? But the system, the system is a, it's an inkjet based system and that means hundreds or even thousands of individually controlled nozzles printing these two materials uh, essentially simultaneously and there are processes to cure the polymers and there are processes to center the silver nanoparticle inks and essentially all of the processing takes place in the printer. And so that when the print job is complete, you can remove the board and move straight into assembling the board. And this is the actual size of the equipment? Yes, so exactly. A laboratory or a small R&D yeah. uh, um, um, team can have this yeah. in the so lab the, and yeah. they can then use it to prototype their PCB. Yeah, exactly. So things that would normally have the development team hanging around and waiting uh, for a week or two weeks or three weeks, depending on what kind of an object you're, you've ordered, is something that you'll be able to get, um, you know, really much, uh, pretty much same day, and so. So what are we looking at here? Is that some of the output of the printer? Yeah. So these are all uh, most of what you see here are, are traditional PCBs. So this is running from the Gerber files, the, the regular design files that is is used in this particular industry. What has become apparent is that obviously, whilst we can enable rapid prototyping of PCBs, we're now also able to start looking at three-dimensional electronics. That means non-plane and non-flat electronics. And for those sort of items, you can see here where you can start using your dielectric, your insulating material as part of a structure. And then you're marrying structural and electrical in one and the same part. And uh, you'll see some of, the, some of the other prints we have over in the demonstration street uh, area actually contain embedded uh, embedded components. Okay, let's go and, and have so a look. We'll, we'll pop over to Demonstration Street, um, where where you'll see some of the other directions, and and this is really the contrast between matching an existing uh, matching an existing um, product such as uh, the current uh, PCBs, which are really flat. Yes. And moving towards things that are really only possible with a 3D printer. So, for example, having a coil which has really no flatness, it's all circular, or allowing for an interconnect to curve rather than be right angles, or as you see in these two parts at the bottom, the components themselves are embedded within the board. If you compare that to a traditional board where the components are on the outside, the potential here for longer lasting uh, componentry, better protected components, and also miniaturization. If you can disperse those uh, components on the surface within your object, mm -hmm. you can talk about having better protected and ultimately smaller uh, products so and in different shapes. So your printer is not just making PCB, but it's a really a 3D printer at the same time. In, in, a, in a sense, currently our, our main focus is on really rapid prototyping of PCBs. Um, but the, the direction that these technologies will, will be moving in, and certainly as you can see in, in, in lab conditions, we're certainly printing three-dimensional files as well, to an extent three-dimensional objects, 
and we, we foresee a scenario where you will be able to have uh, also a range of mechanical properties. So if you want to have part of your object flexible, part of it rigid, and at the same time have it be a structural component with embedded components, electrical parts that is. So we see all of these things eventually merging and really opening new horizons for the design of, 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 uh, of electrical parts and in the end maybe the whole part itself. That's great. So what did you think of the show and how was it for you? Well, it's, it's, this is a fantastic show for us and we've now come to three uh, on the trot. You know, we've been both in Santa Clara and in Berlin and there's absolutely nowhere that compares in terms of bringing this industry together and bringing them into the same place. Uh, the range, everything from materials to technologies to customers, uh, there's no better place to come. Okay, Simon, thank you very much. Sure. Thank you.